What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Twisted Life TV. I am Poison. You are here for P and TV. This is about TV and movies this time, y'all. No news. I'm not going to talk about any politics, anything like that. We're just going to talk about what's coming out on TV and what's coming out to the movie theater, what I may be being watching right now. This is going to be a short video because I am getting ready to get into the shower. As y'all can see, I am in my bathroom. I've had a long day at work. I'm not feeling my best. So, with that in mind, I'm too lazy to actually run a bath. But I'm going to take that shower chap. A nice hot shower. I got my little bath robe towel on right now that I'm wearing. It's, like, it's a little dress. It's a little dress. You know, got it from Tarjay for like 10 bucks or what have you. But it's a towel. Mm -hmm. And then I'm getting the shower. Okay. So, before I do that, uh, let's go ahead and get this video started. First and foremost, if you've never been to this channel, welcome. Go ahead and subscribe down. Hit the subscribe button. If you're watching this video, hit the like button. I'm finding out that a lot of you are not getting my notifications anymore. Um, some people uh, told me that they had to search for my videos. Some people told me that they had to resubscribe to my channel. You got to hit the like button or YouTube going to want to think you a bot and they probably remove you from a doggone channel in the long run because that's what they do doing. They color my subscribers again. And two, you won't get notifications because they feel like don't nobody like the videos anyway. So they're not notifying you that they're coming out. So go ahead and make sure you hit the like button so that way I'll be back in the YouTube algorithms. And that way you'll start getting your notifications on a regular basis when stuff come out on this channel. All right, so... The TV show, Yellowstone, they are going to show the marathon on Paramount Plus beginning on Thursday. This is a great thing for me because I've never seen Yellowstone. I started to watch the first episode when I heard a lot of people talking about it. I remember Miss Honey used to talk about it. She used to love the show. And I never got into it because I wanted to see the prequel. The prequel was 1883. Such a good doggone show. Taylor Sheridan really knows what to do with these TV shows. Such a good show. Um, and then I was going to try to see 1923, which came out after 1883. Now, um, I believe 1883 was two or three seasons. And I'm not sure how many 1923 is. But I think Yellowstone is five seasons. I'm going to go ahead and get on Yellowstone and go ahead and watch that. Beginning with the marathon on Thursday. I don't know how... Often I will be able to watch it on Thursday specifically, so I'm, I don't believe I'm going to review it. I don't know, but I heard it was really good. Okay, um, no, I'm not going to review it. I'm going to tell you right now because I know I'm already filling my plate for the fall. I'm going to do three shows that I think, yeah, three shows for the fall. And if I can't add Yellowstone, that'd be just too much TV for me to be trying to review. Okay, so this Thursday, Yellowstone, Paramount Plus. Starts the marathon of every show from every season. They did not renew Yellowstone. And it has something to do with Kevin Costner. I think he has a new project coming out as well. But, yeah. That's one of the main reasons. Well, speaking of Taylor Sheridan. Like I said, he did 1883, 1923, and Yellowstone. And now he's coming out with a new show about Bass Reeves. Bass Reeves was a former enslaved man who became the first black marshal in the United States. He was a bad ass, right? He was one of them type of dudes that you wasn't sure was supposed to be good or bad, but he was trying to take down the bad guys, but he did it in such a ruthless ass way. Yes, Bass Reeves was bomb. Now, I know some other people have played him, but I can't remember where in the hell what movie they played him in. He was like a character added to a movie. Or character added to a TV show. I believe didn't Denzel play Bass Reeves or something? I thought he did. Mm. Y'all let me know down in the comment section if y'all remember if Denzel played Bass Reeves. But there were some other movies that came out in the past couple years that had like really well-known actors playing Bass Reeves. But now he's getting his own show. It's called The Lawman. Well, it's called Lawman Bass Reeves. It's also going to be on Paramount Plus, which means I got to get me a Paramount Plus subscription. I only watch the free stuff on there right now, or I'll watch what I can on Philo. But it's coming out November 5th. I am super stupid excited about this. Yes, I am. And I will be reviewing this show. Now, 
a few years ago, I was doing a TV show called Damn Nation that I thought was really good, and then they canceled it. This is giving me the Damn Nation vibes as far as like the action that's on the show. Um, but the cast is stacked, baby. The cast is stacked. We got David Odeyowo. I can never pronounce the last name correct. I hope I got that right. Um, he is actually playing Bass Reeves. We got Donald Sutherland, Keeper's Day. Uh huh. We got him in there. We got Dennis Quaid. I haven't seen Dennis in something in a long time, child. It's a beautiful, a beautiful, be beautifully stacked cast. So I'm really excited about this. So I hope y'all come back and watch these reviews on this show because I may put myself in as a character. You never know how I do around here. Speaking of putting myself in as a character, Money Heist has a spinoff. I told y'all about this already. Remember the character Berlin on Money Heist? He was the brother of the professor. Berlin was the one who really masterminded the ideas for the heist, okay? And then he solicited his brother, the professor, to help carry out those ideas, to work out the little kinks, to get into the mindset of working through the steps. Berlin know what he wanted to do. He had case the jobs and things like that. He was the master thief, wanted for many things, right? Now, there was a time in my life that I couldn't stay in Berlin, and that's when I thought he sexually assaulted that girl on the show, right? In the show. But Berlin was one of those magnificent characters that you kind of love to hate at times, right? He was a brilliant, crazy mind. Well, he's coming with his own show. They're going to release it on Netflix on December 29th. And yes, I will be reviewing Berlin. I will. I will. I am so looking forward to that show. Oh, on Netflix, December 29th, y'all. Okay. Then we got coming out Power Book 3. Raising Canaan. Now, y'all know I did not finish season two as far as the reviews are concerned, but I finally finished watching, I believe. No, I still have not watched the season finale of season two. I got so caught up at work last year that things got behind and I just got frustrated with myself. I propose that I am going to keep up this season. I'm in a much better mental state than I have been in previous years. And I am looking forward to see what the hell is going on with Unique and with Brock because I watched the trailer, something that I normally never do. And that trailer, baby, I got to go and watch the season finale. I got to go and watch the season finale. Okay, that begins on December 1st. They have moved it to a Friday. You know, Power used to come on on Sundays, right? Well, they moved Power Book 3 to a Friday. I don't know how happy I am about that. But one of the things that I am happy about, one of our YouTube cousins, you've seen her name around the channel. You've seen her in the comment section. She's a very popular YouTuber, in my opinion. Okay? Uh, uh, her guru, in my opinion, she's going to be on the show, y'all. She is going to be on Power, Raising Canaan. I'm not going to say her name yet. I can't wait to see her. I'm going to be super stupid excited about that too when she comes across that screen. I don't care if she flashed my screen in one second. I'm going to be excited about it. I'm going to pause and freeze frame and everything. I'm going to just let you know that right now. I am excited about seeing Power Book 3. I got to watch the finale before December 1st so I can figure out what I'm walking into. All I know is that, you know, rock, you know, and, and unique form some kind of bond that I'm not quite sure about. And I knew Lou came back into himself, right? He, I think he took out Hollywood, if I'm not mistaken. I think he even rocked together, took out Hollywood. It was amazing for the parts I've seen already, yes. So we're going to get back into Power Book 3, and I will be reviewing. Okay, so those are my three shows that I'm going to be reviewing this fall. Um, Bass Reeves. I feel like it was a boogie in my nose. Bass Reeves. Um... Lawman, November 5th, Raisin Canaan, December 1st, and then December 29th, Berlin. So I got some good little space in between time to layer it on out, right? Which is good. Now, the TV show that I love is Rap Shit. Unfortunately, I can't review Rap Shit on this channel because it's not going to get the recognition that it needs to. Because of the title of the show with the word shit in it, YouTube will not let me put that as a title. 
if I do like I do when I post in the community board and I use the exclamation point instead of an at, so it won't be the word shit, it does not get recognized in the algorithm. So it's very, people may not watch it. I really enjoyed season one of that show. I did not think I was. I thought it was going to be too young of an idea for myself. I enjoyed it immensely. So I am looking forward to season two. Now, I know you probably already said, girl, you already said that this show was starting back in August. Well, it was supposed to start August 10th, but due to the writer's strike and then the actor's strike, it got pushed back. So now it is coming out on November 9th on HBO Max. So I will be live tweeting with the show, which means I got to give me another HBO Max. I let my HBO Max subscription fade away because it was my mama's account. And my mama stopped paying for it. And I was like, I ain't finna renew because I ain't watching nothing on it. But now the rap shit coming back, I'm going to have to watch it because I like that show. Okay. Okay. Anywho. I told y'all my cousin was um, going to appear in a reality TV show called It's Showtime. It's supposed to appear on Roku TV and on Amazon TV, but we don't have a date yet. Okay, I've been checking in with her. They've been promoting the show all over their channel. She's been promoting on her channel. They've been showing little clippets and behind the scenes footage. So the show is coming. We just don't have a release date yet. I'm probably going to be watching it, but not reviewing it. I don't think I can't. I don't know. I might be talking about my cousin real bad. Ain't no telling. And I love her dearly. <laughs> but I'll see. Um, depending on how we're able to view it. I do not have a Roku TV. But I do have an Amazon Prime account. So I should be able to watch it. It was one other thing. One other way. That you were supposed to be able to watch it. My bathtub. I'm sitting on the, the handles. And it's hurting my buttocks. Um, I'm going to have to look again. And see what was the third way that you can watch that show. But I know Amazon Prime. And if you had a Roku TV. You're supposed to be able to see it. Okay, so. Um, other shows that's coming out. Somebody asked me before, I want to say it was um, Justin that mentioned this. Young, Famous, and African. I heard that was a really good show. It is about to go into production for the next season. So it has been renewed. It will be coming back. And again, they are about to go in production. I've said this a thousand times on the channel. The Handmaid's Tale has not begun production yet. They may not pre begin production until sometime spring of 2024, which means that they may not even come out with the next season into 2025. And I'm, and I'm saying may not because Handmaid's Tale has a tendency to try to put out the shows around the times that they could win Emmy nominations. So if they miss the deadline as far as putting the show on air, if they miss the Emmy deadline, they will push it back. So that's why we don't have a release date yet on The Handmaid's Tale. The final season, season six, I will be reviewing it when it does come on. Um, and in addition, because they haven't even started writing the script fully yet, they haven't even started really writing the script yet. They're still trying to figure out how they're going to connect the original Handmaid's Tale with the spinoff Testaments. Testaments will be coming on Hulu. They've already agreed to green lighting. They already agreed to adapt it to screen. I will be reviewing Testaments when it does come out. Um, I told y'all before already about The Walking Dead. They have the new show coming out February 2024 on AMC. Um, this is going to be Rick and Michonne. I'm not sure what time period it's set in. Um, I, all I know is Rick and Michonne didn't go back and look for them damn kids, but they're going to try to make it seem like they did. I know they did. Anywho, Real Housewives of Potom Potomac was renewed. It looks like they're bringing all the old cast members back. I haven't watched the previous couple seasons. So there's another black girl on there that looks kind of a little bit like Wendy, who's going to be going against Wendy and Karen. I don't know if she was on the last year or not, but she's so far the only face that I didn't recognize. And that's going to also begin November 5th. No, I won't be watching it. <laughs> Even if I wasn't watching Bass Reeves on November 5th, I would not be watching Real Housewives of Potomac. I gave that up. But y'all can watch it. Y'all can view it and check that out. Okay. So what else I got on this side of the paper? I can flip. All right. Um, Bel Air is going in to production. 
the next season is due to come out. If you have not watched any of the Bear Lair, and this is the drama version and not the comedy version, the new one, then it is going to be uh, available now on Peacock for free. You ain't got to pay go to the paywall to watch the seasons. You can watch all the seasons or the season that they had put out first for free. Um, P Valley is now going into production. For those of y'all who are waiting on that, unfortunately, y'all, that's not a show that I got into. I just couldn't rock with it for some reason. But people loved it. So don't just take my word for it. Check it out for yourself. P Valley is coming back. Welcome back to the pink is what they be saying. Okay. Right now, I am binge watching um, the new Charmed on Netflix. It's okay. It's okay. Um, it's trying to be too woke for me. And I don't mind the diversity. I don't mind the wokeness. But when you're trying, and I can tell that you're trying, it really gets on my nerves. Every couple, owner damn near is a lesbian couple. I don't know why they have adopted the idea that in order to be a feminist, you have to be a lesbian. That's, what, that's the type of image that they are portraying. Or you just got to be like a hard-nosed bitch. You know what I'm saying? You got to be a bitch to be a feminist. I, I don't get that. And that's kind of how they promote it. All the, outside of that, I like the show. Surprisingly, because I didn't think I was. Um, I'm also watching The Other Black Girl on Hulu. This was adopted from a book. It is a thriller, sci-fi type of shit. I still don't know how it's sci-fi. I haven't got to that point. I think I'm on episode four or five. It's only a 10 episode series. I'm taking my time watching it, but I am enjoying it. Um, you got to get through like the first three, four minutes of the first episode, and then you will start to enjoy it too, because the first three, four minutes was like, this low budget as a mug. <laughs> That's how I was with the first three minutes. Um, let's see what else is coming out. On to the movies. On to the movies, child. I posted up on the board the Hunger, Hunger Games movie. It's coming out November 17th. I will be in theaters for that. Viola Davis is in it. This is a prequel to all the other Hunger Games movies. So the character that played, or that Woody Harrelson played, this is his story. How he went through the tribute and became, you know, the master person. You know what I'm saying? So that's what this one is about. I'm, I'm interested in watching that. I will be at the theaters to go and see Hunger Games. Um, oh, speaking of movies and speaking of delays, The Handmaid's Tale movie, I still haven't purchased it yet. I have found it. I haven't purchased it, so that's why I haven't watched it yet. I will watch it and give a review on that movie. Um, the Color Purple, we already know that movie is coming out on December 25th. I was told this was a, a Broadway stage production being brought to the big screen. Uh, I want to say it was El Boogie that said it's not. This is an adaption of the book. Well, the movie itself was supposed to be an adaption of the book. And they originally said that they were not remaking the movie. So if this is indeed an adaption of the book, as El Boogie said, then you are definitely remaking the movie. I know there's new songs. And I'm like Anna L.A. She posted in the comment section, if God is trying to tell you something is not in this movie and sisters is not in this movie, I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about that. And I do believe that they've taken those two songs out and replaced them with new modern music. I don't know, child, but Christmas, it will be in the theaters. I won't be on there on Christmas Day, but I will go see it in the theaters. Um, Bad Boys. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? They coming for you June of 2024 on Flag Day, June 14th to be exact. Bad Boys 4 is going to hit the theaters, or at least that's the proposed release date. Um, yes, I'm going to the theaters to see that as well. Um, Y'all remember the movie Twister? With the with the tornadoes and the, they was ch storm chasing them and everything like that? I think the movie came out back in 1996, possibly. Is it that old? My daughter loves it. She used to want to be a storm chaser back because it's a dog no movie. Anywho, child, they finna come out with a Twister 2. It's actually called Twisters with the S. The first one was called Twister. This one is called Twisters. So it's multiple Twisters. Um, it's the same family. And it's a new chapter of their lives. And they are coming out with the movie. This is also coming out 
July of 2024. I'm going to be at the theater for that one, too. I'm going to be at the theater for that one, too. Mean Girls. They are re-releasing Mean Girls. I did not get the date. I apologize. But they are re-releasing it as a musical. But it's coming to the movies. I will not go see that. <laughs> Is Lindsay Lohan going to be in it? Lindsay Lohan just had a baby, didn't she? Recently? She did. I thought within this last year. Within this year, I thought Lindsay Lohan just had a baby. If she ain't going to be in Mean Girls, I'm sure I'm not going to see it. But I damn sure don't want to see no musical. Mm -mm. Okay. Good Burger 2. With Keenan and Kale. They are about to release that movie November 22nd of this year. Um, I'm going to see it, I guess, you know. I'm going to tell y'all right now. I, I do not remember the Good Burger movie. I remember that Ken and Kel was in it. I remember that Kel had that really bad uh, Bob braided wig on. I remember that. I remember Welcome to Good Burger, home of the Good Burgers. Can we make it? Can I take your order? I remember that. That's all I remember about the movie. I don't know what the fucking plot was supposed to be about. I remember I laughed my ass off. So, therefore, I'm going to go see Good Burger 2. Keenan and Kale both are going to appear in the movie. And I was, I kept seeing people promote the fact that Kale was going to be in it. Like, it was a shock to them. And I didn't know the story that Keenan and Kale had supposedly um, drifted apart their friendship. Then I saw another news report said that wasn't really true. They, they made contact over the years. But there was an interview that Kale did back in 2012 that said once, you know, they got off of uh, Nickelodeon, you know, he didn't, Keenan didn't even want to be seen with him. He didn't even want to do interviews with him. He didn't want to be seen in the media at all with him. I don't know what that was about, but apparently they have kept in contact over the years. They are doing this movie together that's coming out again November 22nd. And which is the only thing that's surprising to me doing my little research, the learning that Kale is a preacher now. He became an ordained minister back in 2019. And that's what his life has been about. He is no longer acting. You know, Kenan's little career soared as a comedian and an actor and stuff like that. While Kale's didn't, Kale is a pastor that turned his life over to God. Glory, hallelujah, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so I think that's all I got, y'all. That's all I got. Let me get into this show. This one is supposed to be a long video. It's been 22 minutes. Thank y'all for watching. Thank y'all for being here. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Peace.